Hi everyone, have you tried Epic Profit for multivariate time series analysis? We have seen multivariate analysis using LSTM and other complicated techniques. We can also perform multivariate with our Epic Profit. Yes, you heard it right. We can now perform multivariate forecasting with the Epic Profit. Let's get started, shall we? We load our data set. Now we will divide the data set into two parts, train and test. In 7 to 30 ratio, let's plot the graph and try to visualize for all the columns based on date. As you are aware that we need the data set to be in yes, that is date, and y, that is the target, ds and y format. Prepare the data set for every profit. Now it's time to apply the multivariate magic. Call the profit model, then add regressor, then high standardized because false, then again add another regressor. And again, we'll add a regressor close for the closed column. Then that's it. Then we'll fit the data. Then we all just need to add the multivariate columns as add regressor, and that's it. Now, if you remember the formula of the regressor, y equals to mx plus c, where m equals to beta coefficients, x equals to x1, c equals to intercept. And if you remember how time series work using autoregressor, that is x t plus 1 equals to c plus m1 times t minus 1 plus m2, t minus 2, and so on and so forth. Autoregressor itself is a multivariate in, in sense it computes t plus 1 with its lag version of itself. And this is how time series works. Now adding results of each different multiple variable like high, low, close, we can compute the multivariate time series analysis. We can also view the model parameters by using dot params. We will replace the training data set without y, target column, and see how the model is able to forecast using its internal regressor engine. Merge both the data set predicted fitted versus the actual and plot the y versus the y hat. Looks great. Let's try the same with test unseen data. But wait, this is done with the default app profit settings without proper parameter tuning. And another way to improve is to check for any gaps and is in the timeline. If so, then reframe the data set using df.resample, the 30 minutes on data column name, duration, dot mean, dot reset underscore index. Here it is. I put the repository link to resampling the data set according to whatever time that you wish to have. Even though taking a proper time frame is necessary for time series analysis, there are tons of ways to achieve proper accuracy. You can also make future prediction using make underscore future data frame. I hope you will find this video useful. All the resources, including the dataset Kaggle implementation, are in the description below. Thanks again for your time. If you enjoyed this uh, short video, there are tons of uh, topics in advanced analytics, data science, and machine learning available in my Medium repo. See ya. Enjoy machine learning.